20 to 7 on breakfast. The government's handed Team New Zealand $5 million to retain key staff and to protect intellectual property as the team prepares to defend the next America's Cup. The next event is likely to take place in 2021 and the government is expected to kick in more money once plans firm up. One business expert says it's in the country's best interest to invest heavily in the challenge but not to expect immediate economic benefits. Property Institute CEO Ashley Church joins us this morning from Wellington. Kia ora, good morning Ashley. Good morning Jack. Do you support the government's decision to put in $5 million at this stage? Oh totally and in fact I'd go further and say that uh, I, I, I'm on the side of the, the fence that says that they should actually be underwriting the challenge per se so I'm very much of the view that the government needs to be on this thing boots and all. Okay let's run through this from an economic perspective. You were the CEO of the Newmarket Business Association during the 2011 Rugby World Cup. You were told at the time and I'm sure you expect there's big economic uh, windfalls as part of that. What, well, how did it turn out? Yeah, in fact, it's drawing on that experience that I'm making these comments today. So there was a big expectation in Newmarket and other parts of Auckland, and indeed I expect in other parts of the country, that there was going to be a bonanza as a result of the spending that was going to take place as a result of the Rugby World Cup. That didn't actually happen. Um, and uh, it's interesting because when you look at the numbers of people that came into the country who, who identified themselves as Rugby World Cup uh, viewers who were actually here for that event, yeah. it was about 133,000 who spent between them 387 million and those are fantastic numbers. So the question then becomes why didn't that translate into business activity and there's a few theories but probably the most compelling one is something called displacement jack and it basically says that uh, locals and also international visitors who aren't interested in that event essentially defer their decisions to come to a location um, when an event of that kind is on. So uh, although those numbers are good, they're not basically additional, they are replacing the activity that would already have taken place. Right, and let's be honest, the tourism industry is pumping at the moment as it is. Absolutely. So the question becomes whether or not there's going to be um, a bonanza as a result of this. And my argument is we need to be a little bit careful. We've got an experience now based on the, the 2011 Rugby World Cup and indeed based on the two uh, America's Cups regattas that we hosted 14-odd uh, years ago. So we know that the result of that's not necessarily going to be immediate. And Jack, there's some really compelling reasons as to why we should do this. Um, but they're long-term benefits to the economy and to the country. They're not necessarily things that are going to see uh, cash just is ringing for the for the uh, uh, accommodation and tourist sector in the short term while that event's being run. From an outsider's perspective, it would appear though to be a perfect opportunity, a peg if you like, for the government to hook some infrastructure spending. And and that's the first of the, there's basically three reasons why we should do this. The first one's around infrastructure um, and testament to that is the viaduct itself. I mean that, that facility was built entirely yeah. on the back of the first America's Cup. It's an amazing facility. Um, it's basically done its time in respect of this event. Um, but so there's an opportunity now for the government and the council to cooperate and move a little bit further around, perhaps to Winyard Quarter, depending on what Team New Zealand decide to do with regard to what uh, boats they decide to challenge in and where they uh, they hold that event, um, to further develop that infrastructure. So that's one of the major benefits of holding this event, and that's not something that's going to last for five minutes, that's something that's going to last for, for a generation. And what are the other reasons we should yeah, keep investing? The, the second one, and, and Rugby World Cup did deliver in this regard, and the America's Cup's got the ability to deliver uh, even more, is around investment in technology. New Zealanders are amongst the smartest mm. Uh, most creative, most innovative people in the world. And what's interesting about the America's Cup and the people that will come here, and even people that view it in other nations, is that they tend to be folk that have the ability, some of them, um, to invest in the sorts of innovation that Kiwis are so good at. So there's a real opportunity for us to showcase who we are as a nation um, and, and attract some of that investment into uh, some of the activity that, that Kiwis are involved in. The third one, and I would argue, Jack, this is actually the most important reason that we should actually do this, so that the government should be funding this, this event, is because of the way that it makes us feel as a nation. Um, and th th for me, that overwhelms everything else. The uh, America's Cups events, I mean, we're very good at sport. We win lots of things, but most of those things is a little bit of adrenaline and then they, they, they dissipate. Not so the America's Cup. It's second only to a, a Rugby World Cup in yeah. respect of how it makes us feel as a nation. There's an afterglow that lasts right through until the next event. And that on its own is actually worth it. There's nothing wrong f with the government spending money on doing something that's actually going to make us feel good about ourselves as a nation. And that's got all sorts of knock-on effects yeah. in terms of productivity and confidence. Now, Mihi, thank you very much for your time this morning. That's Ashley Church You're for us welcome. in Wellington. That is such a good point, eh? The afterglow. I'm yeah. still feeling it. I'm still yeah, so excited. I, I cannot you wait for the parade too. <laughs> and may have given one of the children permission to take the afternoon off school to go to the parade. Wow. Does that make me a bad parent? Yes. Oh, what the hell?